Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Soma with Disagreeable Gamer, that's me. You can just call me Chris. You may have noticed that my green screen is back. It's a new setup actually. Uh, if you want to check it out, I actually wallpapered my wall. Actually, it's not wallpaper. I just got $15 worth of fabric from Walmart, steamed it, and threw it up with some nails. Works like a charm. Got a couple studio lights. I highly recommend doing that if you want a green screen. Um, but that's uh, enough with the advice for green screening. You may have noticed also that I'm wearing glasses. It's because uh, I'm getting some headaches while playing video games lately, so I figured maybe it'll help. So I just discovered something, I think. I do believe that this face has changed. Um, not sure of that, but I'm pretty sure when we first started it was all one face or really close to it. And now it looks like it's extremely separated, so I think it's changed as we played. I'm not 100% certain on that, so don't judge me if I'm wrong, but I mean, Go check and see later. Simon Zinner Omicron. Before he can ride the climber into the abyss, he needs a power suit, so he'll survive the pressure. That's the last we checked, because that's where I am. Alright, so let's give it a second to load textures. It's actually seemed to have done it this time. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can play with these glasses on. I don't know. I'm going to try. We're going to see if that works. Um, so upon watching back my videos, I realize I've been pretty low energy on most of these because I've just been so focused on the game. So I'm going to try to take a little bit of time and, uh, pay attention to what's going on here. You know, while talking. It's important. Can't open that. This is not the dive suit, apparently. Uh, can I put on this hard hat? Almost. Let's give that a second go. It's on. I think. I Oh, no, it's over there. I was so excited for a second. All right, let's talk to these guys. He's headless, but his black box is in him. Wow. All right. These guys were... Uh, just... Dead. Okay. Gonna left to right. Actually, you know what? Let's not go upstairs yet. I always seem to pick the wrong place to go first in this game. Every single time. I'm gonna try to break that trend. Global lockdown active override at dive room console. Ew, we got some of that black goop. I haven't seen a lot of that lately, but this stuff's pretty disgusting looking. Don't know what's gooping up in here or what's causing it, but I, uh,. I don't like it very much. The goop is gross. Like weird secretions. Ugh. I don't like them. Let's continue. I'm gonna go upstairs to containment and dive room. Containment. What are they containing? Are they con We're going to go a little slower here. Alright, we're gonna go to the first door here. Hey, this is. You heard that, right? I'm pretty sure he said you need to stop it. Um, he teleported. I don't think I've seen a teleporting monster in a while. I uh, don't like the teleporting monsters. They're too fast for me. That one says the same thing as the last one. Alright, this door is already open, so... Let's take a look. Uh, I got a niche on my leg. It's bothering me. It's making me more antsy. So I don't like when there's a bunch of stuff on the ground. It makes me think I'm going to be distracting or uh, attracting attention. Is there anything in here? No? Cool. That was great. All 
All right, somebody's got some really bad hip problems right there. I I think that's a bunch of that's a broken uh, broken shoulder. That's gross. Gonna just set that right there. Gonna just set that right there. Gonna try not to make noises. Good enough. Uh, that's a biohazard sign. So we are going to completely avoid that. Oh man, got an itch on my neck. So taking the first right means I probably went the wrong way. This game doesn't like me going whichever way I feel like going first. So we're going to find out. Hey, I can plug in Captain. Shoot. Yes. Everything is so basic, so limited. I hope it's not the Amidor falling apart. Okay, Doubt it. we need to find you a power suit. You know, so we can go into the abyss without ending up like a recycled can of soda? Yeah, we've, we've talked one about it. Me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be That's done. That's kind of scary. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be used something to this else body. that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. Well. There's a button. Can I press the button? I don't think I can press the button. Can I push the chair down on the button and press it? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's read some lore here. Hey, that's another picture of Catherine and her buddies. That's her on the left. So, it's been bothering me. Because I went. For? Shut Find up! I'm talking! Brood. I've been reading through. Uh, not reading through. I've been watching through my old videos just to see what I've missed. And I missed a lot. Uh, what I didn't really seem to get was. Uh, I read one of those earlier. Was that Catherine is described in everything as being, like, kind of quiet and shy. Well, she doesn't seem that way to me. She seems pretty overbearing. It makes me wonder if this is really Catherine. I don't know. Simon, look for a suit in the lockers. Because when she did that Alice thing... I don't want to press that. When she did the Alice thing, she was a different voice. What means she, That means she possibly isn't Catherine. I don't know who she'd be. I mean... Nothing. Is there another button? Is there a wire I need to plug in like last time I couldn't find it? I mean, if, if she is somebody else, I don't know the benefit of that. What are you waiting for? Why I'm looking! Let's get on with this. What do you think I'm doing? There's one. Is there a body in it? Please let there be a body in it. That would be great. found one of the power suits. There's a dead woman inside. At least I think it's a woman. Just like the body we found in the annex. She's missing her head. Gross. This could work in our favor, though. Look for a terminal nearby. See if you can boot it up. Uh, I tried. Oh, now it boots. So whatever the monster in here does, it uh, pops off heads, it looks like. Alright, HPS information. 
A high pressure power suit guaranteed to withstand temperatures spanning from 50 Celsius to negative 75 Celsius, while keeping a steady 40 Celsius default on the inside. The suit will automatically shield the wearer from pressure and maintain the normal one ATM up to depth of 5,000 meters. The onboard controller monitors the wearer's physical state and is able to minimize risk of shock, hyperventilation, and even <coughs> dehydration. Excuse me. The suit is easily assembled through the rotation. Sorry. The assem. The suit is easily assembled through rotating neck and wrist rings that lock the gloves and the helmet in place. Note that the joints won't seal unless the controller is able to identify a wearer through a set of sensory systems. Suits may be locked to a specific personnel, but as the default suit will accept anyone. But as a default, the suit will accept anyone. The controller is the on is the onboard computer monitoring pulse, brain activity, body temperature, and stress through skin conductance. It uses this information to provide the wearer with safest experience. I don't have skin, so that's already a problem. At least I don't see skin when I look in the mirror. What is this? Do I click? Are these other suits? Power suit missing, power suit missing, power suit missing. Power suit missing, power suit missing, loading. I knew that one would be the one since it was the bay I opened. I just want to check the others. Not exactly grade A material. Don't write it off just yet. Remember what we found out at Theta. The suit you are wearing is basically just a Cortex chip working a few pints of structure gel powered by the on-suit battery pack. And a dead collie, Imogen Reed. Exactly. If you think about it, we're actually incredibly lucky. We found a suit with an already dead body inside. I guess you're right. What about the WoW? What makes you think it'll play along? It's not magic, it's algorithms. A set pattern. The WoW won't be able to deny us, even if it was capable of wanting to. I'm still not crazy about this plan. It feels wrong. Please, Simon. I can't give up on the Ark. I need this to work. So, so I get in a Cortex it? chip, structure gel, and a battery pack. That's one hell of a shopping list. Thanks. I'll just hang around here if that's okay. I'll be back. She's like, I don't want to be shut down again. That's the only way I can go. Well, I guess I can't go that way. Oh, this is reopened. Okay. Come on. We need to get a Cortex chip, a battery pack, and some structure gel. Cortex chip, battery pack, structure gel. Got it, lady. Boss man. Probably not Catherine. I'm gonna start start calling her probably not Catherine instead of Catherine. This is now open and it was not before. Wasn't there a biohazard sign on this before? I am certain of it. I commented on it. I'm pretty certain it was this room. Well, everything's locked. Um, I don't think this is any of the things I need. Uh, upon rewatching my other stuff again, like I said earlier, I noticed that I was really slow to notice things. Specifically, like, how to find stuff. So I'm going to try to be better at that. Looks like I'm going back down this way. Oh, this is open now. This is me right now. Let's see. I came from here. Went up here. That's no. Oh, oh my goodness. What the f hell was that? That was uh, a little more startling than I expected. You hear that? I hear that. I'm really concerned about that noise. Is that a body? We'll, we'll, we'll check that out after I check this out. Ruffy, Jacob Hal Halperin. 
An unusually sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omicron substation. It had a... What's a ruffy? Remarkable bone growth and seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought in to say... Brought inside a study. But it stiffened and died in the process. During post-mortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of water. It kept swimming for a few minutes, so I returned it to an aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoning itself to death before I could relocate it. Shelley, dead on arrival. Claudia Ames. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters death. It's a 150 centimeter long rudderfish that looks like it has merged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this, and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Ovaria can't shut up about. Johan Ross, dead on arrival, Claudia Ames. Is this one Claudia? Nope. The dead man found on the climber this morning has been identified as Johan Ross. The AI psychologist working at Tau. I can't even begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the ARC team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there again without good reason. Don't like that. If I stand still too long, it does stuff. That does stuff. Alright, looks like we're going back downstairs. This might be a shorter episode today because I am feeling very unhappy with this whole place. I don't remember this being open. Oh, no, this was open. I opened it. Well, everything's closed. Did I miss a door? So I've already been in here. I checked this out. That's where I just came from. This is locked tight. Can't get into it. I need a Cortex chip. Uh, some sort of solvent in a battery? I don't remember. See? It says left. Robot arm repair bay. There is no left. That's closed. That's closed. That's freaking me out. These are closed. Override. Didn't notice that before. Did it say nightmare? I don't know how to... Oh, shoot. This is a puzzle. Listen to me. Got it. Oh my goodness, it was in th it's in there. Okay. That was a bad idea. No forbidden containments beyond this point. 
Oh, shoot. I'm probably a forbidden contaminant. I'm like a mix of people and technology right now. Well, there's another headless person. So somehow this person's locked in here and still lost their head. I think I just heard breathing. Some sort of mine? No, it's the wow. At theta, structure gel test formula, split the circuit board microbody, less than ideal, circuit mimicked, check previous state, systematic shock, death. This is what it's... This is the thing. I'm afraid to look at computers. I feel like I'm going to get attacked. Connectivity. The structure gel has been charged and is actually keep... And actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from power source. If applied to circuits, seems to help without help out with connectivity. It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machinery work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it seems, it, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of the bad code. Applied gel to dead mouse. The gel caused the mouse to appear alive. It was put in the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was apathetic while living in, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. I didn't see what it said. The corpse was solid as the gel hardened within it. Hmm. Well, apparently these people eating the gel are going to have this happen. Reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by Eames. The results were impressive. The thing appeared catatonic, but as a more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as it before, electromagnetics are used to cause low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. We have to stop it popped up that time. So that means that thing in the very beginning that we saw that was chasing me down when we first met Catherine, that thing is probably just like this mouse. Something's controlling these, it sounds like. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-link gel with aligned graphene and polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout the pathos two years ago. The problem is not the gel, it's the controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even dreamed of. Study was destroy the WoW. It sounds like a good idea. Overwhelming evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growths that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it's all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say that it's a bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. Service required. Don't know where I'm going to fix that. Can I check over here? Um, sure, let's go in here. This way, I guess. Alright. That was interesting. Did 
that's just a random computer part. I don't think that's the same thing. That's kind of creepy. I'm about to touch that too. Step one complete. Structure gel as connector and interface between energy. That is some thick tape to cause that to do that. Uh, an interface between energy, PAL, S3, and organic tissue. Never seen something of that speed. I don't know what that means, but I think it has to do with the rat. Because it's living, maybe? Emergency shower. Alright, we're done in this room. This guy's probably going to freak me out again. I may take a break from here. Not yet. We're going to keep going. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. What do you want to tell me? I trust you somehow. Because you're speaking to me. Tell me to destroy the wow. Oh my goodness. The fish. I noticed they were weirdly, like, electronic looking a couple times. But now it makes sense. The wow has touched them all and they're all wow fish. Wow fish. These poor rats are dead of starvation right here. It's a sucky way to go. Not that any way here has been a nice way to go. I don't need to heal yet. Also, I probably should stop touching that since it seems to be taking over everything else's brains. What was it supposed to be in here? Anything? Can I see myself again? Oh, that's a better look than I had last couple times. Uh, I look like Wally. I am Wally. Wally. All right, I don't see anything else in here I can interact with. So, I'm going to check one last time in this room over here just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because that would be a waste of time to have to come back up here again. Any loose wires on the ground? That's a water bottle. Ah. It's not something you may want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? Am I that transparent? What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Oh, what makes you... Why would you ask that? Uh, I think Ross is trying to tell me something. About Psy Alpha? That was weird. Can I put these in? I guess not. I'm glad I looked around more. Tell me what you're trying to tell me. Hydroponics. That's uh, plants, right? That's like 
I don't I don't know if that's plants, but I think that's plants. I'm not a scientist. Not very well educated. Ooh. Hey, it's Buddha. Belly rub. Good luck. That looks like another one. like to take a moment to mention that she says that her head feels like it's about to explode and right before that they say that the black box signals are being amplified I'm starting to think that maybe the black boxes caused everybody's heads to explode and that's why we don't hear them anymore when we try to check them and why they're all missing their heads I've caught that in editing so I decided to add that little note in here Is that Ross in that, that class? we stop the wow from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. Uh, I, I just... So... So, she said site alpha on both of those, asking if it was real. What is site alpha? And what is the significance of Site Alpha? This is open too now, right? Having this headset on with these glasses actually hurts. I might have to not ever do this again. I feel like this is the worst place to go. I should have gone downstairs first. This is creepy. That's blocked off. We're gonna go this way first. More dead bodies. They're all like that. This one's got a, a helmet on. Maybe it's going to have a head. Nope, no head. All of them. I don't think I can open that. There's nothing for me to touch there. That's locked. Uh, I think this is just an aesthetically pleasing room to go through. Yep, that's uh, my guess. Here we go. Is this a good idea? Probably not. More wow for me to touch if I deem necessary. I've decided to only touch that stuff if I'm about to die. That was appetizing. Anything in here that I can take? I don't think so. Yeah, I gotta take these off. It's starting to hurt my temple.
The noises are what really get you in this game. I want to see what's on that. No. Is there no way to check that? It's uh, a little upsetting. Kind of a tease. No wow for me. Alright, let's go across. Is he going to pop up down there while I'm up here? Guess not. Alright, power room. Only one direction here. I'm looking for, I think she said a battery. I've already forgotten. It's, darn my terrible memory. I just know she said she needed three things. I've gotten one of the three things. So now I'm just looking for the other two. And I don't know where they'll be. Oh, this thing's alive. It's breathing. Is there a bad guy around this corner? This is going to be the last place I go. I'm going downstairs first. Call me a coward if you wish. But I feel way more comfortable starting downstairs. Can I lock this back up until then? Nope. Which way is downstairs? Hopefully that thing doesn't follow me. You want to give me a jump scare? No? Okay. Let's take a quick drink. Frame drop? Why is that? Check out this room. Tape dispenser. Anything in the... Uh, nope. Uh, random formulas. I know exactly what those mean, obviously. I'm a, I'm a scientist. There's a lot of stuff that I can touch, but nothing I can pick up. As in, like, grab and keep. Got another Buddha. That's nice. I don't know what's in there. But I can open it. Unsolved mystery. This guy has a head! And he's part machine. He's basically all machine. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Listen well, to you're me. relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay, then. Stay safe. Omicron 
Can you hear us? Yep. Everyone all right? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working loom our crew. I missed what that one was. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. You uh, heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. I wonder what that one said. I missed it. Respond. This is Rowley Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We have to stop it. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. All right. Oh my. Into the into the abyss take it to alpha in the ab in the abyss somebody's going completely nuts alpha needs medicine alpha oh my goodness end tau find alpha take the gel to alpha alpha is the part of wow that's controlling all of this the heart of alpha i've got it Catherine is part of Alpha. Alpha. All right. Um, yeah. I didn't gain anything from coming down here other than information, but information is nice. Oh, that was a really bad frame drop. Is there nothing in here that I can take? I know I need a couple things. Find Tau, find Alpha, take the gel to Alpha. End Tau. Find Tau? End Tau? Find Tau. Why am I having so many frame drops? It's just intense right now, I guess. Oh, boy. This is... That's it. Catherine had me get the gel. What is the gel for? Because I am taking the gel to Alpha. Did I crack the code? Is this it? I think I cracked the code here. Looks like I gotta go back up. Frame drop, once again. All right. And, uh, well, here's where I stop for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode today. I hope you enjoyed this journey. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like. Please give me a subscribe. You know YouTube changed your policy so that you have to have a thousand subscribers now to, to have any merit on this, this platform. And I'm looking for it. I'm, I'm trying for it. I'm, I'm taking time day in and day out trying to get there. I don't even care about the money. I just care about bringing out all this to entertain people. I, I have a day job. This is, this is my hobby. Um, but the more people who watch this, the more I feel accomplished. And I thank you for watching this if you did. 
And uh, please go ahead and give me that thumbs up and that subscribe if you enjoyed it so that I can make more videos and know that people are watching and enjoying my content. Until next time, this has been Disagreeable Gaming playing Soma. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.